I was asked why I've never written any gospel music. I come from the church. Born and raised, I went to the church every day until I was 12 years old, you know. So I could say no, I mean, but, <laughs> but my feeling about it is, is that gospel music should not be sold. It becomes the same thing as secular music. And that's supposed to be, <laughs> then, then you, you close the line or you close the gap as to the, whether there's a difference in it. And you can buy your religion. Not good. Religion isn't supposed to be for sale. It's free. It's, you know what I'm saying? Your religion. No, I do understand. I think I, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's a different concept than what uh, our culture uh, would like to promote. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that if, we're, if we have gifts, we should share them. If we're artists, we should be able to use our talent mm -hmm. to barter with and gain things that we don't have the skill to mm. to communicate or or produce ourselves. But but a lot of times um, because of the culture that we live in, uh, we're not always able to um, fully share what it is that we have to offer because you have the limit of the price tag. Is, is that what you're saying? And it's, if there is, uh, it's bigger than the desire to do or to be free. It's, when I say it's bigger, it's, it's a part of the fabric of, of how we think. It's, uh, uh, I, I don't consider it as that, but it is. Uh, one of the challenges we have to come up, especially as when you become what I would consider a true artist, and that was asked of me whether I consider a true artist is, as was put to me, when you become your art. <laughs>